What's up, everybody? Can you believe it? It is the last day of September, which means if you guys are just a little patient, give me up to about a week. I will work hard on collecting everybody's results from day one of September all the way to day 30. We'll put them in a nice spreadsheet and we'll see which team was it team purple, team blue, team green, or team yellow who came in first. It should be super exciting. As to what's going to happen for October, I'm going to be honest, guys. Uh, this is probably about the busiest I've ever been. Um, I would rather uh, just play solo and enjoy watching and listening to your comments and how you guys did. But yeah, I think for October, I need to take a little bit of a break um, from the, uh, uh, you know, from any type of a competition version of Connections and uh, just have fun watching art and sharing me your results. Does that sound good, guys? And then maybe in November, we'll pick up another type of a competition. But they do take a lot of work. Um, they really do. And even though, you know, I didn't do any videos to update you guys, it's just going to be a final video. Um, I mean, even that's going to take at least six or seven hours of work and I barely have even a free hour. Okay. But of course I have some free time to do a video each day, right guys? All right. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's see how art can perform on the final connections of the team tournament. And I do want to thank all of my amazing uh, players for doing so well. I have no idea how we're going to do as a team. I think uh, all the teams seem to have been doing pretty good, but uh, a sh huge shout out to my amazing team cap captain. That of course would be Zep Girl 5. All right. So we've got Shy Long, Diamond Wanting, um, Heart Iron, Short Spade, Ache Club, Thirst Putter, Wood Pine, Wedge, and Low. We've got some golf equipment here. These are all golf clubs. They try to throw you off with the club. But then the club will, of course, go with the heart, the spade, and the diamond. So we've got, I think this is going to be an easy one, okay? I hope I'm not going to, you know, uh, regret those words. But we've got our, um, whatchamacallits, we've got our golf clubs, we've got our uh, card suits. Then that will be two categories with no overlap. And then what's going to be left is going to be pine. Oh my goodness, this is an easy one. Pine, ache, long, and wanting. Those are all forms of desire. And then that would leave us with um, shy, short. Oh, actually, it could be thirst. You could thirst for something. Mm, that's a good one. I feel very confident with these first two. Let's just get them out of the way. So here we're going to go with um, golf clubs. Perfect. And then we're going to go with the, uh, whatchamacallits, club heart, uh, spade, and diamond. Yep. Those are card suits. All right. And what's next is I do, I think we've got a category, but I think it's slightly overpopulated. I think we've got five because you can have a, if you pine for something, wanting, long, thirst, and ache. Yeah for something I suppose you could say okay so so let's look at the reverse word short shy and low well maybe short if you're a little short you're uh, lacking shot if you're shy of a certain amount you're lacking if you're low you're lacking and I suppose if you're wanting then you would be lacking that amount. So I think this is an easy one, guys. So I think what we do is we get rid of wanting and we go with ache because ache wouldn't really be used in that sense. So I think pine, long, thirst, and ache are forms of desire. Yearn, perfect, we'll take it. And wanting short, shy, and low is um not enough. Insufficient. Oh, that was a that was wicked fast but wicked easy again i mean there was there's was nothing to it um there is absolutely nothing to it so good to get one out in about four minutes some of them can be real torture i hope you guys enjoyed that is a perfect five that's a perfect finish uh for our team and um yeah so with that in mind guys i hope you enjoyed this fun tournament and we will um, revisit the tournament maybe next month. But let's for October. Art needs to take a little time off. That doesn't mean I'm going to, you know, 
forfeit connections by no means. We're still going to do a daily connections, but I just don't have time to also uh, fool around with all of the whatchamacallits, all of the, um, you know, the results and that kind of stuff. And if anything, it takes a little bit of pressure off of everyone because I know that we are competitive and there's nothing wrong with that. But, um, you know, we tend to, some, some of us call each other out if we don't quite get the right name of the category and all that. And we don't have to worry about that. There will be no disputes whatsoever, right? And, um, <laughs> you, I mean, if you want, you can call me out, but it's not going to go towards anything, guys, right? Um, I know I didn't quite name Yearn and Insufficient the way they did, but I think my um, titles were close enough. And so we won't have to worry about that, at least for all of October. So I'm looking forward to October. It'll be kind of like nice just to play on my own. But again, guys, I really welcome your input and um, how you guys did. It'll be really exciting to see how we do without the pressure of a team competition. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, I will have a finale video waiting for you guys within the first week of um, October. And we'll see which team did the best. And with that in mind, guys, I'll see you tomorrow for yet another round of Connections.